everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video this morning i hope that you guys are doing really great and we're going to be looking at what is happening across the atlantic with focus being on the caribbean and surrounding areas now some areas have been experiencing some continuous rainfall or some intermittent rainfall since yesterday especially the southeastern islands and then other parts of the caribbean are likely to experience some substantial rainfall today so with that there is going to be that flood threat across some areas those areas which are most prone to inundation whenever it rains heavily so we're going to be looking at that uh, we'll be talking about the rainfall expected today as well as those winds and even the wave heights so let's get straight into it we're looking at these satellite imagery here and we can definitely see that there are those couple of uh low pressure areas up to the north with these fronts attached we've got two of them over in the western atlantic and we can see them right now on the surface chart here it is those cold fronts are represented by those diagonal lines with those triangles those blue diagonal lines with triangles that is representative of a cold front but right there in the vicinity of central america notice that red semicircle what does that show well it is showing a stationary front whenever we see these uh shapes alternating on different sides of the line it is signifying a stationary front right in there but the rest of it is a cold front which stretches through but it is weakening and uh, it will be helping to induce some rainfall across portions of the caribbean so let's head back to the satellite imagery and going closer looking to northern south america and the southeastern islands there we can see that there's pretty much a lot of moisture and some convection across the area especially offshore of colombia and panama we can see all of that activity those white dots indicate lightning strikes also in southern venezuela and across parts of guyana and suriname there is also some moisture and then taking a look at trinidad tobago grenada and other surrounding islands there has been some rainfall activity since yesterday even some heavy downpours across some areas and that is going to be continuing through the rest of the week as a result there is going to be that risk of flooding across some areas Heading further up north here, we can see all this moisture in the northwestern Caribbean associated with one of the fronts. So again, that front is going to be helping to induce or enhance the rainfall across the area. As a result, some periods of heavy rain could unleash flooding across portions of Central America. Let's go on to what the Euro model has to show. This is the rainfall forecast through today, well, into the very, very early morning hours of tomorrow. And as the map becomes more colorful, that is indicating a lot more rainfall. So let's start out with Central America. We can see that for much of the Yucatan of Mexico, a whole lot is not expected, but other parts of Southern Mexico could receive some substantial rainfall as we head towards Guatemala, Belize, the Keys as well, Northern Honduras, and the Bay Islands. It is likely that we're going to be seeing a lot of rainfall within the area. Look at those purples even popping up. So there could be rainfall over or up to three inches within that area. A lot of continuous heavy rainfall could result in some significant flooding, guys. So please stay safe if you're to be affected by this. And then looking toward the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Also seeing some of those yellows and even orange shadings popping up. So there could be some substantial rainfall across the area. San Andreas and Providencia. There may be some showers passing through today. And then going towards most of northern South America, there's likely to be some substantial rainfall there as well, especially over in Guyana. Then we're heading toward Trinidad and Tobago. Even for Grenada, parts of the Grenadines as well, we're seeing some of those red shadings, so there could be quite a bit of rain as we head through today. And for many areas, the soil is already saturated, so all this additional water is only going to pile upon the surface because if it has nowhere to go, it is just going to inundate that space. That is what causes that significant flooding as well across some areas. So please guys, stay safe as you head through today. And then across most other areas such as Barbados, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe, there could be some rainfall at some point through today, even for the ABC Islands as well, especially for Curacao and Bonaire. But then as we head toward most of the Leeward Isles, do not see where much is expected at all as we head through today. So Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, going towards St. Bartholomew, St. Martin and Anguilla. Much rain is not expected, similar store for the Virgin 
islands, but then across portions of Puerto Rico, even for Hispaniola, which includes Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and sections of Jamaica, especially in eastern parishes, there may be some rainfall as we head through today, going towards the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands in Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and even up into Florida, a whole lot is not expected. Then as it relates to those winds, winds could be anywhere from around 10 going over 20 knots, especially within those areas where we see those darker shades of purples and those blues popping up as well. So with these fronts, there is uh, those winds coming in from the north east and with an increase in all these winds over a large area there's also going to be an increase in those wave heights so here we're taking a look at it and we can definitely see how colorful this map is uh, well offshore of the u.s we're seeing those oranges those reds and those purples as well so the waves are a lot higher out there and across much of the caribbean we're seeing these shades of blues and these greens as well so across much of the region around say four to seven foot seas across some areas it may be a little bit higher those wave heights may be a little bit higher but uh, it's not going to be something very dramatic across much of the Caribbean especially compared to what is expected out in the open waters of the Atlantic and now finally we're taking a look at what the euro model has to show as we're going to be heading out into the next couple of days so as we head through the rest of this week take a look at all that moisture which is represented by those shades of green still across much of the eastern caribbean so as i said earlier all this rainfall activity is likely to continue affecting the eastern islands and then with that big front coming down from the u.s as we head into early next week and then look at this we see all this moisture across the western caribbean affecting central america likely with some periods of very heavy rain and flooding and then we see that area of low pressure form and all that activity associated with it so euro showing that we may see something try to get itself together out there eventually moving out but we can see that the area of low pressure is quite broad right there so we'll definitely have to wait and see what happens and we'll have to see if other models are consistent about that as well but the immediate focus or the immediate concern is all of the rainfall moving into parts of the area the northwestern part of the basin as well as the southeastern islands so that is the immediate concern but there is a chance that we could see something form in december it's happened before 17 times matter of fact something has formed in the month of december overall there have been 28 active tropical cyclones in the month of December. So many persons uh, would say that the hurricane season is done, which means there will be nothing more. No, tropical cyclones and nature on a whole is not necessarily respectful of the dates of the hurricane season. Those dates are designated because that is when the most activity takes place. But there have been many off-season storms and there is a chance that we could see something form. So it's not to say that, okay, this date has passed, which means there will be nothing more. No, there have been anomalies before in the past and it could happen again in the future. It can most certainly take place once those dynamics are favorable for it to happen. So we'll have to wait and see, guys, and we'll see if other models start to hop onto this as well as we're going to be heading out into the middle part of the month. But there's quite a bit of time to look out for that. As I said, the immediate concern is all the rainfall and the flood threats across some areas. But I'll be keeping you posted as per usual. And that is pretty much it for this update. So I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.